Pakistan teacher, welcome to another video. In today's class, we are going to read a story. Yes, I have this book called Daniel Tiger's 3 Minute Bedtime Stories. Let's do this. Okay, this is a storybook. 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 That is correct. Let's read one. First off, as usual, we're gonna blindfold pick one story. So I close my eyes and this one. Okay, it is called Going to See Grand Pier. Grand Pier. Okay, Going to See Grand Pier. This is our story. Let's read it together, shall we? Going to see Grand Pier. Hi, neighbor. Guess what? My family and I are going on a trip to see my Grand Pier. I made something special for him. Do you want to see what it is? It's a frame with a picture of me and Grand Pier. Do you think he'll like it? I'm going to pack it in my backpack right now so I don't forget it. Ding ding! Trolley's here! To get to Grand Pier's house, we have to go down the twisty road, past the dinosaur park, and then through the butterfly garden. Mom lets me hold the map. After the twisty road, we stop at the dinosaur park. You can go play the dinosaur slide, Dad says. We stomp to the slide together like dinosaurs. Stomp, stomp, stomp! Time to get back on trolley. Mom calls. Margaret wants to sit next to me, so we switch seats. We still have a long way to go, but I can't wait to give Grand Pierre my picture. There are so many things to do and see when you're on a trip with your family. Look at all the butterflies. They're so pretty. Hey, if this is the butterfly garden, then the next stop on our trip is... Grand Pierce house! Welcome my tiger family, Grand Pierce says. I reach into my backpack to give him my present. He's going to love it. Wait, where is my present? Do you see my picture for Grand Pierce? Dad looks in my backpack. I don't see it in here, Daniel. Dad says, we must have lost it along the way. Oh no, that makes me so sad. I know you're sad, Grand Pierre says, but maybe there's something else you can give me. You can give me a great big hug. There's nothing better than a great big hug. Even though I lost Grand Pierre's present, I'm so excited to visit him. I love being with my family. Uga muga! So that was it for our story. Thank you all so much for listening to my story. Guys, yes, um, sometimes we can get really disappointed in life. Sometimes we might not be able to do stuff that we planned and we got excited about. And we, got, we can be disappointed, but you should cheer up because even if you are not doing the exact thing that you plan to do life will make it up for you if you have your loved ones with you that's why don't be sad stay happy stay calm stay home stay safe and i will see you on the next one bye